Tonight, highway crews are working to keep you safe after a deadly crash in Frederick, Maryland. If your morning commute takes you through Route 15, you'll see that a guardrail is going up in a segment where a tanker truck carrying fuel crashed into a tree and exploded. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Delia Gonsalves. That fiery crash happened about two weeks ago, killing the truck driver and leaving a nearby home with extensive damage. Rafael Sanchez Cruz was back on the scene speaking to neighbors in Frederick County. Delia neighbors here on Apple Avenue are telling me that they're happy that something's being done because they've been asking for this guardrail for years, but they're saying that after living that explosion over two weeks ago, they're looking for a permanent solution. It's a scene some Frederick residents have been waiting for for years. Crews began installing a guardrail on northbound Route 15 along Apple Avenue following the tanker truck crash that killed a driver, 58 year old Ronald Hayson Jr. The serious nature of this crash and the gap it kind of left behind with the removal of the tree, we tried to expedite the review. The deadly incident prompted calls from neighbors for an additional barrier after a tree was the only thing that stopped the truck carrying fuel from driving into the neighborhood. The guardrail, yes, I'm glad they got it pushed through. But we still need a wall. I asked them directly, is a guardrail going to stop a tanker? No. We met up with Sandra Binnaker, who we spoke to the day of the March 4th explosion. She says her support for the wall has only grown stronger, and she has a sign and petition with signatures to prove it. We could have saved the money for the guardrail and the fence that they're going to eventually build and just put a wall up. The Maryland Department of Transportation says the new guardrail is a short-term solution. As for the long-term solutions, MDOT plans to widen the highway by adding a third lane in each direction and sound barriers. But construction on those could start by fall of 2026. It's very frustrating that it's going to take that long. Maryland state officials have yet to release what caused that tanker truck driver to crash into the tree. In Frederick, Maryland, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9.